Hey guys, today, being the hockey junkie I am, I'm going to continue with my uh, next video here on another hockey add-on. Um, this one is premium. Uh, I see a lot of people looking for sports uh, after they've cut the cable, and there is an alternative if you're looking for free. It's called Sports Devil. I suggest you check it out on my channel here or visit my website, hotstickbun.com. Um, but for hockey and a lot of the sports, you're not going to get really good quality unless you're playing premium. Uh, my last video, I said you could go with NHL Game Center. Uh, that's the legitimate way. I, I it works. Um, there are restrictions with some things like blackouts, and if I had the choice, I would suggest checking out Hockey Streams. Um, I'm going to leave the link to some of these places, uh, the website and whatnot. Um, but to get started, if you've got a subscription already, the first thing you need to do is find the repository and install it that way. Uh, that way, if there's uh, changes to the update or add-on or updates or something like that, then it will do it automatically. So I'll leave a link here, but it's on GitHub. If you Google uh, XBM Hockey Streams uh, GitHub, it will show up as the first result. Uh, but to get started, we just want to download this zip. Uh, save it somewhere where you remember, obviously. Um, I've already done it, so I'm not going to download it, but I saved it into my downloads folder here. Now, you the thing with this is you've got to unzip it. So just double click that and it should create a folder called XBMC Hockey Streams Master. Um, and once you open that, you'll see kind of what's in the GitHub. Uh, so after that, all we need to do is go into Kodi and install the repository and add-on. All right, so once in Kodi, it's like any other add-on, we go to System, we go to Add-ons, and we install from zip files. Now we need to find exactly where we saved it, and in my case I'm on a Mac, so I saved it in a downloads folder. And as you'll see here, there's the zip file. That's not what you want to choose. You want remember you want to unzip it. So you create a folder, uh, which is XBMC Hockey Streams Master, and then inside that you should see four other folders. We want to choose repo and repository.xbmc hockey streams is next, and then you should see a zip file. So if you just uh, hit enter on that, you should get a notification that it installed. All right, so the next step is to install the actual add-on. To do that, we just go this time to install from repository, and you should see if it installed correctly, XBMC Hockey Streams repo. From there, we go to video add-ons, and there's XBMC Hockey Streams. Hit enter, hit install, it should be fairly quick. And now that I've got uh, that enabled, so from this screen, we can we need to add our account information. So uh, before exiting out, you can do this. For, I'll maybe just back out. You can do this from the main screen um, before you go into the add-on. So from videos, go to go to add-ons. And you should see XBMC Hockey Stream. So now you bring up the context menu by pressing C on the keyboard. Or uh, if you're on like a Fire TV, you should have a remote with a button that does that. So we go to add on settings. Uh, and then here are your settings. So, you, like I say, it's a premium add on, so you need an account. Um, I didn't really want to enter mine on here, but I will, anyways. And the password. And you can play around with any other options that you want. Um, the nice thing about this add-on is it's not just restricted to the NHL. You've got some AHL, you've got uh, some CHL. Um, when World Juniors are on, they have that as well. So it's got a little bit of everything, which is nice. Uh, and then there's some on-demand content, so if you miss the game, you can always go back and watch it. It really is a, a great, great add-on. So hit OK. And now that you've got your information in, you can just open her up. And there's some heavy construction going on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So here's a list of all the games that are taking place tonight. Uh, as you can see, there's the NHL. There's a bunch of Canadian Hockey League, Junior Hockey uh, and whatnot, and if you go into on-demand highlights, it also has 
all the uh, past games that have been played already and whatnot, as you can see here. And that's about it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with this, though, is this plugin isn't, you know, licensed by the NHL by any means. So there is always that possibility that it could get shut down. So by paying a premium subscription, like I say, for most premium subscriptions that aren't uh, from the actual leagues or content provider, um, I typically just would recommend going month to month. That way, you know, if it gets shut down and you've paid for a year subscription, you're not out 11 months uh, worth of money. All right. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or leave them on my website.